Hi, I'm Joseph Kern, Instructional Designer at Emporia State University. A really cool feature that you can add to your Canvas course is the ability to give badges. So if students meet certain requirements, that can show up on their profile to show everybody else that they know what they're doing about something. In this video, I'm going to show how to set that up for your course and just give you a preview of what it looks like. And then a follow-up video will show how to actually make the badges and pick the requirements and give just some general tips on them. So the end result of this is going to be that you could look at your class roster and you can click on an individual student's profile. And because it's been set up at the admin level to allow the whole university system to work with this badge program, uh, all instructors are able to see badges aren't even in other courses. These badges are from a course set up with the elementary ed one-to-one -one iPad initiative. So students who've uh, worked on different functions of the iPads can earn these. And then other instructors in elementary ed, when they say, I want you guys to do a keynote about something, which is like a PowerPoint. Uh, if they say in a month, we're going to have this assignment, I need you to make sure that you know how to do Keynote, they can look at student profiles and see that, yes, the student knows how to do Keynote, and so they can give points for that if they want, or they can verify that students are able to function at that. The badges themselves are built around specific requirements that you can put in, where you choose what settings, what requirements, which modules have to be completed, or at what level in order to earn the badge, so it's very customizable. But first, you have to get it set up in your course. Now, to do that, you go to Settings. When you're looking at your course, you choose Apps, and you can search for badges. There are several different badge applications you can add onto your course. This one is built by the Canvas people, so that's the one I went with. Now, in the description here, there's a website to go to. You can copy and paste that, or it's just Canvas or canvabadges.org, but you'll have to log in with a Twitter account because when you actually go to say, yes, I want to add this tool, you have to have a consumer key and a shared secret, which is, I guess, it's two different passwords, basically. So you'll log in with the Twitters, so if you don't have a Twitter account, you'll need to make one for this. You tell it to authorize your app, and it pops up with a key and a secret for you. So just highlight those, copy it, paste it into each of these, and you'll get it set up there. You hit Submit, and then yay, you have Canva badges. Now back on the uh, page that popped up with your key and secret, there is a code you have to copy. And in your settings, you will paste it in as the URL, and now you've got it fully set up in your course. And again, at admin level at ASU, it's been set up so that other instructors can see the profiles of their students and the badges will show up in there. So if you're at another institution, talk to your admin about doing that. Now, if you go back to our home screen, which is where I have my modules in this really well-named module, I can add an external tool. So any of those apps you add in are external tools. And the only one I have is Canva badges. So I can choose it and then start filling in the information, which I will show you how to do in the next video.